Welcome back to Shady Lane Acres. I'm Jason. I'm Mickey. And today we are going to make our second attempt at processing birds. Today we're going to start with our meat birds. We have three oh, meat birds. I can't remember which hatchery we got them from. They are, what did I say they were, 13 weeks old? I think so. 13 weeks old. So they're a little old. A little older than I, we should have let them get, I think. They are big. They're big old fatties. And we're going to start with those three. For one, we're a little worried that they're going to just keel over and die on us. Yeah, they're not walking too much. Yeah, and that's, that's just the nature of meat birds. They're made to grow fast. And, you know, they, they have heart problems when they get full grown and stuff like that. If it goes, if we have enough time, we might go into the turkeys. Because we've got three turkeys. And then we have four ducks, two are Muscovies, and two are ducks. So we have 10 birds we want to get processed. Uh, we got about four hours of daylight left, three or four hours of daylight left. Yeah, it's 119. So well, I don't know how much, if we're going to get them all done today. Our biggest thing is we just wanted to get the meat birds done before they started keeling off. Yeah, and I do kind of feel bad about their living conditions. We won't do meat birds into the winter ever again, no. which we should have, if we'd have butchered them four or five weeks ago, which might have been a little young yet. Yeah, they're still a little tiny. Bit. Yeah. Uh, we'll get a tractor set up and do them again because I, I, depending on how this goes, we'll, I think we'll probably do meat birds again. Yes. So now we've kind of stepped up the game and got a, a super handy chicken plucker is the brand. Um, read some reviews online. This one seemed uh, one of the better ones. After we're done with it, I'll... Uh, I'll give my reviews and my take. Granted, I've never used a chicken plucker before, and so I don't know if I got a lot to compare it to. We got this also to help. It's a, uh, it's a scrape the lungs out into one spot. I got this on Amazon. It's a yard bird brand. It was like 24 bucks. A uh, couple people on the internet really sweared by it, making it easier. That was also the one thing that we had an issue with, is I didn't know if I got them all, and I didn't know what it would do to the meat if you left it in there as well. So just being able to make sure we can get it all out is good. So that's our plan for today. We're gonna get started and show you some bits and pieces of it. Let's see, hopefully we do better than last time. Last time wasn't bad. It no, just it wasn't took bad. us a long time. Yeah. So I'm hoping the timing will get better on it. Yeah, and just feel more confident. Yeah, we've watched a lot more YouTube videos since yeah. then. <laughs> well, it just takes time doing it to learn it. Yep. So here we go. So these are our three birds, they're dispatched. We had five, but we had a cat that got in and was eating them. Uh, ate two of our meat birds and four or five of our uh, new egg layers. And now we've added, we've got one of these great big potato mashers. Except for their feet are too big. Yeah, I didn't know, I was wondering about that. Somebody we watched use those and it worked pretty good. And now we're off to scald them. Again, our Outdoor canner, turkey fryer. It's way too hot right now. Is it? It's oh at, yeah, it is. It's at like 175 and we're supposed to be at like 140, 150. Yeah, cause you can't have it too hot and well, do it longer. I assume it'll cook them. The size of these birds compared to the first ones This we is butchered. almost like a Thanksgiving turkey. We were gonna try and weigh them before we butchered them, but all of our scales are electronic and Fancy and none of them will register. All right, you ready to scald her, babe? Is it 175? Not a little hot? Well, it's a little hot, but probably once you put the bird in there, it'll. Do you want to move that thing? What thing? That. Oh. <gasps> Stinky. Give me the mashers. It is. Well, pulled out pretty easy. Okay. All right. Do you want to rinse it off? I can. Well, I pulled them off though. Okay. Just go ahead and throw them in there. Okay, that's not working right. He's not like turning. 
Oh, it ripped his skin. Oh, yeah, it did. That's not the chickens. Oh. There it goes. You gotta get the outside of it, they said. Out right here? Yeah. Oh, that's what it's doing. Stop it. Stop it. I was like, oh. yeah, I think uh, we need to not have it. Um, yeah, because I think you can. Our turkeys ain't gonna fit in here. Well, it says it's supposed to fit a turkey. I know, but it's not turning it. I know. What are you trying to find? The one that's more water. Okay, I'm say we ripped the hell out of it. This is not working. Well, yeah, I'll just rip the skin off. That's not a big deal. Yeah, that is not well, working. Well, we can do the rest by hand. We no. just ripped off. Well, let me try another one. No. Hey! Hey! I think they're just eating the blood. <clears throat> no, it is not going smoothly any step. Do you think we didn't leave it in the hot water enough? I don't know. Yeah, all the ones I've seen, it bounced around in there. Mm-hmm. And it didn't bounce. Yeah, we do. Does it need to be full of water? It does. It can't be full of water. Oh, that's right. We're not keeping the arms or anything, are we? I don't know. too worried about the skin I guess. Okay. I don't know I guess it ripped the meat too. <sighs> yeah maybe it takes a little while to for the things to get flexible enough or something. That's what I'm wondering if you need to like hose them down or something. Well, I am. Move dummy. I don't know. Does the what's the temperature of the water? It's still 150. Okay. Still 150. Okay.
How old are these meat boys? 13 weeks. Oh. Those are the ones you ordered? Yeah. Mm hmm. Get down! Do you want to learn how to disassemble one, Caleb? Disassemble. Go get a knife. No, you probably need to get one of yours. Are those not very sharp? Eh, not as sharp as they should be. I also think part of it is there's like no, there's no feathers on the breast, you know? Yeah, that is true. And that's where they're ripping first. Okay, now that one went a lot better. I wonder if you just need to get the things wet. You know? Yeah. Or not, like you said, where you're stopping and going. Yeah. I mean, still ripped the meat, still ripped the skin, but it's a lot better than it was. Better than all three of us can do it. Well, I wanted to film the plucker working, but it was kind of too labor. I had to be switching it on and off. It ripped the skin pretty bad. This one seems better. I think maybe this one's real bad. I don't know, they don't flop around like I see a lot of other people, so maybe it's just because it's so new that it's not working that great. The other thing is to, um, we're gonna need chairs because this is already hurting my back. <laughs> okay. So you're gonna have to make sure all your little armpit hairs and everything else are out. So we'll start getting all your hairs. Get! back this is our middle son caleb mm -hmm. he lives in a camper in the driveway <laughs> definitely a lot more meat on these than those other holy buckets yeah I go, Dad, get to work. Well, I'm filming. Okay, so we are bringing in our chickens that we processed, and we shrink-wrapped them in these lovely little bags, which we we're not that impressed with, but we'll see how we get better going. And so now I wanted to uh, weigh them because I was just kind of curious because these things almost are the size of a small turkey. Nine pounds, 15 ounces. I don't know if I can see that on there. Yeah. So first one's nine pounds, 15 ounces. Again, size of a small turkey. I can't even imagine how big our turkeys are gonna be. Well, see, I know that like the, 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 when you buy the whole broiler for like the chicken noodle soup, they're not near this big. No, I usually buy about seven pound ones. Is it? Mm -hmm. No, this is seven I'll say pounds. That one see more. This one was the smallest of them. So seven pounds, 6.2 ounces. Seven pounds. Mm -hmm. So what was the first one? Nine? Nine, 15, I think. That was probably the female because there was two roosters and a female. Yeah. And this it was just one. what you got. You know, I didn't, I just yep. ordered a straight run of those. Okay. And our third one, gonna have to turn him. 10 pounds? 10 pounds, seven ounces. So that's a 10 pounder, a nine pounder, and a seven pounder. I don't know, it might be worth it to order them because I can order just roosters. Can you? So it might be worth it to order the roosters. Yeah, because you don't get any eggs out of them. No, you, they don't live long enough to create any eggs. Yeah, so 
There you go. But it's a little bit more to order a rooster. Like we said, we had a lot of damage to our birds. They don't look the prettiest. And we obviously did not get all the blood and water out of them. I, so. But that's, I mean, when you go to the store, they have blood. It's just frozen. Yeah. But there you, I ain't going to be able to carry all these. So now we'll go put them in our freezer. I don't even know if we have room in the freezer. So we did the three chickens. It took us right at an hour. Granted, there were three of us doing it. Mm -hmm. uh, didn't go too bad. The gutting part went a lot easier. Yeah, they're a lot easier because they're bigger. Yeah, they're bigger. And we're getting a little better at it. Yeah. The plucker didn't work great. Mm -hmm. It it tore the skin. I don't know if it needs a little bit of time for the rubber, the fingers to break, you know, to get Loosen a little softer. Up. Yeah. If they're just too stiff. They broke the skin a lot, which isn't a real big deal to us because we don't, we don't, eat the skin no. i mean no. and most of these are going to be broke down into we'll probably grind up a lot of the leg meat and the wings and just breast them out we don't know what we're going to do exactly no. but since we got her done pretty quick we're going to move on to our turkeys this might actually be kind of a sad thing for us these turkeys are pretty nice they're pretty calm uh they're kind of like dogs this one's all covered in poop, so I don't know what happened to hit her. <laughs> We've actually probably gotten three or four dozen eggs off of them. Yeah. And we really actually, we like the turkey eggs. I do eggs. like the turkey eggs. They're really good. They're, you know, so. Yep. Uh, we're going to try the turkeys, see what happens. Yep. It is, Thanksgiving is Thursday, but these won't be cooked for Thanksgiving. Who knows? Yeah, we could. We might. Well, the turkeys are done. That was... No. Two of the three yeah, turkeys. Two, yeah. Yeah. I don't know if the last one saw what happened to his friends or her friends, but she is having nothing to do with <laughs> us. And normally she's <laughs> right underfoot. Yeah, normally all three of them are right there. So, so that was rather funny. So we gave her a reprieve till next week because we still have four ducks to do. Yeah, and it's it, getting late and our get, hands are freezing. Yeah. The, like bright red. Yeah. The chicken plucker did not work for the turkeys. I don't know if they were just too big. Or what? I was like, it was too heavy also. Yeah. Like, when we put it in there, like, it wasn't that it just didn't fit. It just didn't turn. Yeah, so, so it was we need to find out what the weight limit is. Yeah, it was actually shutting the motor, like, stopping the motor. Mm -hmm. So, I was a little disappointed in that. Our uh, freezer bags were not great either. Yeah, the freezer bags, I don't know. I Maybe we're expecting more from them. Yeah. They're supposed to be, like, shrink wrap bags. And they do all right here. I don't know. Like I say, maybe I'm just expecting more out of them than... Than what we should. The other thing also is, is that our turkeys are enormous, and so they don't even fit in our turkey fryer. Like yeah. when we stuck them in there, like they came halfway, and so we had to flip them around, stick them in, and so I'm kind of concerned that we may have cooked part of it too much, but we'll see. Yeah. So I guess yeah. Well, now we're gonna find out just how big these girls are. And I normally buy a 25 pound bird when we um, do Christmas and Thanksgiving for our family. It's too heavy. It's too heavy? Yeah. So what is the, what's the weight limit on this? I don't know that. Okay, well, just a second. All right, it won't weigh it. It's too heavy, so we're going to go to another system. I weigh... 247. Too much. You got to get off. No, hold it and get on there. I didn't think I had to... To 67. So 20 pounds. 20 pounds. Not bad for the first one. My pants are stuck. To 69, to sell almost 270. So 23 pounds. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. How big do you say you normally get? 25. Well, we, yeah, that's the biggest usually you can get. Mm -hmm. Our roaster will handle the 25 pound. So that's, I think those were the biggest ones. Yes. The one that's out there hiding from us, she's definitely the smallest of them. One of the smaller ones. Yep. I don't think she's too much smaller. 50 pounds of turkey. 50 pounds of turkey. And if we do turkeys again, we won't always do them whole we got a meat grinder, so we thought we'd grind it into ground turkey, but these two 
we're going to try and cook up whole. One of them is going to be Thanksgiving next Friday. On Friday, you're going to cook it up? Mm-hmm. Uh, if the turkey plucker isn't going to work any better, I don't know. For these, I don't know if we'll do them again. Yeah. They're just, I don't know. I mean, how big were our chick? Our chickens were 10 pounds. Mm-hmm. So we could just kick two chickens. So, so this was our second trip to freezer camp. Uh, what we say seven or five birds we took this time. Mm -hmm. Three chickens and two turkeys. Yep. Uh, it took us four and a half hours. Mm -hmm. No, about... one three and a half. We started at one nineteen. Oh. And it's four forty one. So yeah, so not quite four hours. That's not bad. Not bad. So, well, thanks for watching this one. Until next time. See ya.